awesome, awesome burn. But the technique is key. Hey guys, how's it going? TRX Traveller, Adam here. Uh, I've got a little video for you today, a leg superset, a TRX suspension training leg superset that I've been doing with a weighted vest. I've been doing it for the past three months and uh, I'm loving it. I think I'm seeing some good uh, gains, obviously it's hard to judge just in a few months. I've always been of the opinion that if I can't contract a muscle without weight, what right do I have to try and contract it with weight? So having just used body weight for five or six years now, I feel I've earned a bit of a right to start experiment with the weights. So this is the superset and it's a reverse lunge and I've got a step in and the reason I've got a step in is because it allows me to step back and get a greater stretch on the quad. Now when I started with the weights vest, uh, I only had 10K and over the past three months I've built it up to 16K on each leg. So looking at this technique, you can see I'm going down super slow, super slow for four seconds. Right at the bottom, I'm really stretching out that quad. And then I'm trying to get a bit of power back up. So one second, power lift, and at the very top, I'm standing strong and I'm contracting super hard for at least two seconds, super, super hard, and then back down super slow. And the burn that this builds is awesome. So at the moment, I was doing two sets of this. The first set, I stop just when I'm getting to about failure. And the second set is when I'm pushing it to failure and a bit beyond. So I then start doing some partials. I then do an isometric hold and a final eccentric slow, low, uh, slow, lower, sorry. Um, and they are absolutely awesome, awesome, awesome burn. But the technique is key. You notice my little meditation and gratitude journal book in the corner? I'm gonna do a little video on how I warm up with gratitude and meditation and how I take that internal focus into training. So you might want to subscribe uh, if you want to catch that later as well, because that's quite an interesting topic. You'll see that I kind of slightly twist my foot um, inwards as well. Uh, now, I I'm, I'm wouldn't necessarily advise that. The reason I do it is because I feel I can get a greater contraction on the outer quad, and I just love hitting the outer quad. I love building that width to the leg. And then I then jump straight into pistol squats. Now here again, you see I'm going down slow for the four seconds and at the very bottom, I contract the hamstrings. Why? Because it brings me down to the floor, to the step. When we contract antagonistic muscles, if I contract the ham hamstring, the quad must lengthen. So we're then taking it through a bigger range of motion. And again, at the top, I'm squeezing super, super hard, really, really hard. Same principle, I take this to failure, so I'll, I'll end up doing just partials, an isometric, and a final um, uh, lower. You can see there, a little squeeze of the quad. It's popping just a little bit, it's not doing too bad. Still a bit chicken legs there, but you know, I do feel like they're developing, and I feel like building this strength um, workout in certainly helps then with the higher rep range stuff. So here, I'm getting about between six and eight reps on the reverse lunge, and you can see there, just two, sometimes even only one uh, on, the, on the second set, because just, ah, oh, the burn is awesome. Master contracting a muscle correctly without weights first, and then take that mastery into using weights like a weighted vest. I personally think it's very sensible before any fitness journey, um, no matter what that is, to master your own body weight strength and, and become comfortable uh, at contracting, not understanding what the contraction feels like. If you've tried a weighted vest, let me know in the comments below. Let me know how you find it. Let me know what exercises you do it with. Um, always looking for some inspiration or some, some challenges even. I'd be super interested to know how you're exploring with it. As always guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't so I can always keep you updated on fitness freedom anywhere with suspension training. Thanks very much for watching.